One day a young boy asked his father, what is the value of his life? Instead of answering, the father told his son to take this rock and go sell it at a market. If anybody asked the price, raise two fingers and don't say anything. The boy then went to the market and a woman asked, how much is this rock? I want to put it in my garden. The boy didn't say anything and raised up two fingers and the woman said, two dollars? I'll take it. And the boy went home and told his father, a woman wants to buy this rock for two dollars. The father then said, son, I want you to take this rock to a museum. If anybody wants to buy it, don't say a word. And Jeff put up two fingers. The boy then went to the museum and a man wanted to buy the rock. The boy didn't say a word and just put up two fingers. And the man said, two hundred dollars, I'll take it. The boy was shocked and went running home and told his father, a man wants to buy this rock for two hundred dollars. His father then said, son, the last place I want you to take this rock is to a precious stone store. Show it to the owner and don't say a word. And if he asks the price, just put up two fingers. The son then went to a precious stone store. He showed the rock to the owner. Where did you find this stone? It is one of the most rarest stones in the world. I must have it. How much would you sell it for? The boy put up two fingers and the man said, I'll take it for $200,000. The boy, not knowing what to say, ran home to his father. Father, there's a man that wants to buy this stone for $200,000. His father then said, Son, do you know the value of your life now? You see, it doesn't matter where you come from, where you're born, the color of your skin, or how much money you were born into. It matters where you decide to place yourself, the people you surround yourself with, and how you choose to carry yourself. You may have lived your whole life thinking that you were a two-dollar stone. You may have lived your whole life surrounded by people that saw your worth for only two dollars. But everybody has a diamond inside them. And we can choose to surround ourselves with people that see our value and see the diamond inside of us. We can choose to put ourselves in a market or put ourselves in a precious stone store. And you can also choose to see the value in other people. You can help other people see the diamond inside of them. Choose the people you surround yourself wisely. And that can make all the difference in your life. And some people will see you as helpless.